So premium smartphone audio is something we don't talk about a lot because let's be frank, there are very few devices that can even offer anything close to premium audio. And not just because I'm an audiophile or I've got headphones behind me, but because we deserve the best when you pay a good amount of money. Now, the only device that really hits that mark is the LG G8. Now, the G8 ThinQ comes packed in with a lot of premium features for audio that really go a long way. First and foremost, it has a headphone jack, a 3.5 mm jack, and some of you might go, well, Bluetooth audio is great. Bluetooth is nice. It's fine, it's convenient. It doesn't hit those marks, and I'll tell you why in a second, but it doesn't hit the marks. But what if your battery dies, you haven't charged your Bluetooth headset? You can always plug it in with the 3.5 mm jack, and that's the easiest way to go. It's got that, but it also has a quad DAC. This is something LG has done for the last four or five years in the industry, and very few, I mean very few, meaning only Samsung, comes even close to having a DAC built into their, um, uh, their system that's even worth any kind of diet. But it's not about the DAC, it's also about the amp that's there and uh, giving you that really clear and crisp sound. Now, I could explain on and on and on, but I'll allow my buddy Juan Bagnell from uh, Some Gadget Guy to give you a better definition on why the LG G8 gives you the sound that you really want to hear when listening to music. I still gotta ask. Do you even like your ears? Listening to audio is a mainline phone feature for a lot of consumers. So it's always nice when you can point to a manufacturer as the best in any given category. Not an opinion, that's a fact. Lots of manufacturers hype Hi-Fi 32-bit audio, but a lot more needs to happen between the data on your phone and getting audio into your ears than just being able to play a really big wave file. LG has basically been competing against themselves since the V20, and the G8 continues to improve their lead on the rest of the industry. That quad DAC though, not a gimmick, not a fancy EQ mode. Let's use a metaphor. I want you to think about audio like the night mode on a camera. So the phone stacks a series of images to improve clarity and light while reducing noise. The quad DAC does something very similar. Each stage of the DAC boosts the signal while reducing internal noise generated by the phone. It doesn't touch your audio file, that stays flat, but it does deliver the cleanest representation of that audio to your headphones. And the G8 is another step better than last year's phones, which were already significantly better than the rest of the competition. Quad DAC is generically referenced as the thing what makes this phone sound good, but LG also deserves a ton of recognition for the headphone amps on their phones, and specifically for the G8, it's huge, it's loud, but it's also smart. The amp switches output based on what you plug into it. General consumer range headphones, you don't want to overdrive those or blow out your ears, but switch over to nicer cans or studio grade monitors and you'll need more power to properly drive that hardware. LG phones are smart enough to switch that up for you. And because I see this question asked a lot, yes, this hardware still has benefits for people listening to compressed audio. Lower noise floor, a better signal to noise ratio, less distortion, properly driving your headphones. All of those things will improve sound for everybody, not just audiophiles listening to high bitrate audio files. I mean, I get it, but if we're talking about 128 kilobit MP3s or Spotify on data saver mode, why are we talking about super premium expensive flagship phones? I only listen to garbage on my $900 smartphones. Oh, but I don't mean the band garbage. They're still cool. If you keep your ears in headphones for any significant portion of your day, this is a truly differentiating feature for a phone, and you should give it a listen. Thank you, Juan. Uh, that is just something people have to know. When using a device like the G8, you get a range, you get the sound that you're supposed to hear. You get the fullness of your music. You get the rich uh, ambience of even your movies, the audio. I mean, what are you using even DTS headphones? X there. The fact that it gives you that full range really goes a long way. And the fact that you don't have to be tethered down to an accessory that you do have to recharge or have to buy 
uh, because you already have headphones and a lot of you have really good headphones at home. Uh, even the decent uh, sounding headphones you have will do well on the, on the LG uh, G8. What I like about the G8 is that for me, I can push the range. I can go to more expensive headphones. I can go to headphones that cost a thousand dollars for earbuds. I know that's crazy. Or I can go to something that's even cheaper at only 50 bucks and they still sound really good. That's what you get with premium audio, that range, because it allows you to push your sound the best way you want to. And I think that's something we need in the smartphone industry. So hopefully this video helps you decide what you want to pick for your premium audio experience in your smartphone and also helps tell manufacturers, please give us better audio. We like to listen to things. We like to hear. We've got ears. So give us the experience that fits us the best. And I think right now the LG G8 Think You is the only device that takes premium audio to the next level and no one's even close. Now, this is not a paid video. It's not sponsored. I love audio and this for me hits the mark. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video. I want to thank my buddy Juan Bagnell from Some Gacha Guy. Definitely go ahead and follow him out. Check out his LG G8 Thank You coverage. He's done some amazing work on that. You can find out more about the device. Plus, the G8 Thank You only costs $680 on T-Mobile. Actually, it was $620, I could be wrong. Unlocked $700. This is an affordable uh, premium smartphone with premium audio that I think you definitely love. Thank you, guys, and... Always enjoy your entertainment.